Well, good evening and thank you for being with us. The agreement between the two carriers, Alaska and Hawaiian Airlines, promises better benefits, better choices for travelers throughout Hawaii and the West Coast. The $1.9 billion buyout will pay off $900 million of Hawaiians' debt and keep the Hawaiian Airlines brand. These two companies say this combination, well, they say it makes sense because both carriers cater to remote communities that rely on air travel. But what does this mean for you as a customer, especially if you have Hawaiian miles or other member benefits? And thousands of employees will be affected if this deal gets federal approval. What will happen to them and what will the impacts have of this merger on our local economy? These two airlines provided details on what had been a very tight-lipped acquisition. In a press conference this afternoon, Nikki Schenfeld starts our coverage. It was a shock to many this morning. Have you seen this morning, we announced that Alaska and Hawaiian have reached a definitive agreement to join together. After years of low stock value and nearly $1 billion in debts, the two airlines agreed to join forces in a way that's never been done before, allowing Hawaiian Airlines to keep its name and branding. The cultural element is so important, so the operations of the two companies will be combined and be supported by a single industry-leading loyalty program, while our guests continue to enjoy the authentic spirit of each of these beloved brands into the future. The financial details include Alaska acquiring Hawaiian for $18 a share at a value of $1.9 billion. He says the two combined would have more than $13 billion in annual revenue, 365 new aircraft, 1,400 flights a day, and serve 138 destinations, 29 which will be international. The combined airline will be powered by some 31,000 employees here in Hawaii, the state of Alaska, throughout the West Coast and other locations throughout the world. Both CEOs say union employees will keep their jobs, but there is no guarantee for non-union workers. But I see a significant number of those jobs still continuing in the future because of the geography from you know, the West Coast and here being so far away. We will need a large presence here to continue the wonderful operation that, that, that exists here and into the future. And we want to grow it. We want to grow the union jobs, the non-union jobs. As for why it was so tight-lipped... Anytime we have knowledge of a transaction that could affect the value of our stock price, uh, we have to either disclose that or we have to keep it secret. The airlines say nothing is going to change overnight and that this acquisition could take 12 to 18 months to finalize. Credit cards, status, and miles will not change until the deal closes, and how to combine the two programs and under what name are being discussed. Alaska's CEO saying he wants to hear what the people in Hawaii want, like free surfboards in our island. Alaska says it plans to maintain neighbor island flights and is learning about the limitations on Molokai. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.